Hey, welcome to PGCast. My name is Josh Branchod. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to generate a bunch of fake data, like email addresses, using just SQL. So sometimes you just need a bunch of fake data. Perhaps you want to compare the relative performance of various queries, or maybe you need a big table to try out that new Postgres feature. In this episode, we'll see how we can quickly generate a bunch of fake emails with nothing more than a fancy Postgres statement. To do this, we'll start out with the users table. And we'll give that users table a ID as the primary key, and another column for emails, and we'll want them to always be unique. There, we've got our users table. Now, if we just need two or three records, then writing a couple insert statements should suffice. However, what if we need a lot of records, like say 10,000 records? To start, we need 10,000 of something, and the generate series function uh, is gonna help us out with that. So let's see how that works. We can call generate series with a lower bound of one and upper bound of 10,000. And you can see we get 10,000 things. They're integers though. And what we really need is to turn those integers into emails. Well, we can do this with some string concatenation. So let's do another select statement. We'll get some strings in here and we'll concatenate them with the double pipe operator. And we'll do all of this by selecting from another generate series command. And there we have it. We've got 10,000 emails and they're all unique, just like we wanted. Now the next step is to insert them into our users table. And for this, we can just use a regular old insert statement and then append a select clause onto the end. So we'll actually take the statement we just had, we'll jump to the beginning of it and say insert into users email, and that's it. And we've just inserted 10,000 records into our table, all unique emails. And we can take a look at that real quick just to make sure. Yep, looks good. So that's great and all, but uh, we can take this a bit further by adding some variation. How about some random email host names? We can do this with a little more string concatenation and a case statement nested in a subquery. Now I've already prepared a statement for this, so we'll pull that from this document here. And we'll paste that into our PSQL session. And there we have it, another 10,000 records, but with a little bit more variation in them. So let's take a closer look at that statement. As each row from the generate series is processed, we'll get a new random number from zero to two. The case statement then produces one of the three host names based on that random number. And then this of course gets concatenated into the rest of the email string. I'll leave the task of actually inserting these fancier emails into our table as an exercise for the viewer. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.